Hey guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my year end empties. I have been using a lot of products um, towards the end of the year and I wanted to share with you guys what I used up. So there's a lot. So I'm definitely going to go through these kind of quickly hopefully says and it rambles for three days but we'll see. So um the first thing that I went through is a bottle of melatonin. I use this on days when I don't take my Ambien. Um, I try not to take it too much because it does mess with my liver a lot. So I've been taking melatonin to help sleep at night. Sometimes I take two. Um, just to kind of help me sleep at night. A lot of the times it works, a lot of the time it doesn't, but you know, what can you do? Then I went through <laughs> three bottles of hair, skin, and nails, um, extra strength hair, skin, and nails, and then a regular. These have saved not only my hair, but my skin and my nails, as the things would say. I've noticed a huge improvement in my skin and my hair has like gotten better and I dyed a lot you guys know um I dye my hair way too much um but uh life is too short to have boring hair it's my motto um so I've been going through these like crazy now these aren't completely empty but I'm getting rid of them which is the Garnier Fructis uh, Fortifying Conditioner and Shampoo, the full and plush uh, version. I am going uh, cruelty free, so I'm getting rid of these because these are not cruelty free, so getting rid of these and I purchased some cruelty free shampoo and conditioner which I have really been liking, um, so I'm getting rid of these. It's still like half full. For both of them well this one's still half but this one is pretty much out but um yeah I'm just I'm trying to be uh more cruelty free in the new year so getting rid of stuff like that also I went through some daily vitamins didn't really see a big improvement so but you know, I'm still taking uh, daily vitamins a day just to help my health and stuff since I am dieting. And, um, you know, I may not get all the nutrition that I need. So, then I finished up the Garnier uh, Micellar Cleaning Water. Uh, this took a long time to get through. Um, and course it is not cruelty free so if you guys have a good uh, micellar water that is cruelty free let me know um so yeah because <laughs> I really do like I really did like this and it helped you know remove makeup and stuff like that but again not cruelty free so um I went through a Bath and Body Works beautiful day um shower gel why couldn't I word I don't know but I went through one of these this is like such a good like spring and summer smell but this lasted way way longer than I thought it was um right now I have the pumpkin one in my bath and it's just like perfect fall but it's like winter now so I'm like behind on the seasons but that's fine because I don't care I don't mind <laughs> But I love these. I love I love Bath and Body Works. But I can never tell if they're cruelty free or not. So I'm like keep looking and I there's like no like actual thing that's like yeah they're cruelty free or they're not. So I don't know if you have any tips on if Bath and Body Works are cruelty free. Let me know because I can't find jack on that. So yeah. Another thing. Another thing I finally finished up which I didn't think I was ever going to finish was the Garnier Clean uh, Balancing Daily Exfoliator again not cruelty free but I really did love this I loved it um so if you guys have any recommendations on a good scrub let me know
I really hope this camera picks up, but it's the Balancing Daily Exfoliator for Combination Skin. Um, the, the Grapefruit and Pomegranate. If you guys know any cruelty-free alternatives, please let me know in the comments below. But I really did love this, and I finally finished it up after having it for probably longer than I should. Uh, <laughs> but I really, really love this, and then I'd use it like two or three times a week. Um, it says daily, but I don't want to do that daily to my skin because, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> I have really sensitive skin, so I try not to do too, too much to it. Oh. And I have another Bath and Body Works uh, that I finished up. It is the Pink Jasmine Kiss and Blackberry which smelled so so good I love this smell it was a very like fruity floral smell which I usually am not a floral kind of person but this smelled really good it had more fruity than floral um I really liked it and it was a great like transition from like summer to fall kind of smell like I don't know, it just smells really, really good. And I finished that one up. I finished up a travel size of the Dove Deep Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. Eh, it works. <laughs> I also tried the um, three percent gel, and I really did like this. Um, it was just a sample. I had the two percent, the three percent, and the four percent gel um, from Chica y Chico. It's a Korean brand, and I really did like this. So I may end up getting the full size later on. Um, I may actually see if it's in Japan. Um, when I go, I know it's Korean brand, but they do have some, like, um, Korean stores in Japan, like Etude House and stuff. And I may see if I can pick this up while I'm in Japan in March. So, that would be really, really awesome if I can find it. But I really like this. I love the way it made my skin feel and look. And I highly recommend this for, um, combination dry skin. So now on to the beauty stuff. Um, I didn't really wear much makeup the past like end of the year because I was either sick. Um, if you saw in my update video, um, I was really sick and um, just I didn't wear a lot of makeup. Um, so I finished up the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation in Porcelain. I really did like it, um, but I, and it was my holy grail foundation until I found the Fenty Beauty foundation and bought the Fenty Beauty foundation, and now that is my holy grail foundation, and I love it so much, um, but I finished this up. It looks like there's still some in there, but it's just like the last bit of residue that is still in there, but I really did love this, but I am obsessed with the Fenty foundation now. <laughs> So, um, yeah. And then I used up my Beach Cosmetics, um, liquid liner. Not liquid, but felt tip liner. The writing is all, like, worn off in it because I've literally used it every single day I did makeup. And it's all dried up. And I loved it so much. And it was, like, four bucks or something like that. So it was super, super cheap. BH Cosmetics is cruelty-free. And I love them and I'll probably be getting another one but this lasted a w pretty a couple of months like I want to say six months so I mean for like four five six bucks really good and then I finished off my NYC pencil in taupe I use this for my brows it looks like there's still some left but the entire like inner part actually came out and it is pretty much hollow now so that's gone I used it for my eyebrows and um like when I was working and just like 
going out and stuff like normal-ish makeup instead of having the colored brows like I have today to match my hair so and then I used up the elf like glitter liner and this is in stardust I really really love this it's like a pink iridescent glitter really pretty really great for the inner tear duct area and the lower lash line and for a cheek highlight good good stuff so definitely be repurchasing this as well I finished up two setting sprays one is the elf makeup mist and set which I love so much it's amazing hands down my favorite and then the city colors all set setting spray with silica which did the job but it wasn't my favorite I preferred the elf um, so yeah <laughs> and then two perfumes I used up this year um, the Taylor Swift knockoff wonderful yes because I refuse to actually spend money on the actual like wonderstruck or whatever the fuck it is um so I, it was wonderful as the knockoff version I used that up because it smells amazing and then the legit Lady Gaga fame perfume I used it there's still a little bit in there but I can't get any more out like the one that had the black perfume in it I love it I'm definitely gonna keep the bottle because it's Lady Gaga and if you watch my channel um, from the very beginning, or if you've, like, seen my room, you know how much I love Lady Gaga. Which, I'm just gonna say now, Lady Gaga is my life. Like, I love her so much. Like, this is my studio area, and I have a poster of her directly across from me. So, that's how much I love Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. I want to get a Lady Gaga tattoo soon. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I still love K-pop. I'm still obsessed with K-pop, but Lady Gaga is, like, the one uh my one outside of k-pop that i'm like obsessed with so yeah <laughs> and then the last thing is i used a lot of yankee candle stuff this year um this is the only one that i could find and it is the moonbeams on pumpkin um i bought a bunch of the tart uh the tarts for the tart warmer um in october right before the like halloween right before Halloween and this smell this was my favorite scent it was smells so good and it sucks that it was like limited edition I doubt it could, will focus but I really love that so much it smells I can still smell it it smells so good and then I used up um apple pumpkin and I think I have apple cinnamon in my tart warmer right now those are my year end empties I really hope you guys enjoyed also let me know down below what kind of videos you want to see in 2018 um like I said in my past video I may not be able to do any tutorials um just because of the quality of the camera that I have right now is my old 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 camera from like a couple years ago um because the camera that I was filming on is broken um and if you want to know all about it it'll be in the cards um and also if you want to help me get a replacement lens because it just needs a replacement lens which is like 80 bucks um but I'm without a job right now so I don't have the money so if you guys want to help and donate I'll have a link below if you want to you don't have to um but if you want to you can and um i will send you something as a thank you gift um if you want to um <laughs> i'm just trying to get a replacement lens for it so i can for use my camera again but um if you guys have any suggestions on non makeup tutorials you guys would like to see please let me know in the comments below Thank you guys so much for sticking with me another year. I love you guys so, so much. May 2018 be your year, be a good year, be a blessed year for you guys. May 2018 be the year that you conquer your dreams and just take over the world. So, yes. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. 
I love you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.